Hey guys, it's Yuna and I'm back today with a book haul. So I have randomly acquired many books because I sort of unexpectedly found a lot of really good deals for books last time. The last book haul I did, I was literally like, okay, I need to stop. Like I can't buy more books until I finish the ones that I already bought. But I have this habit of scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and just like looking you know to see what's on there especially books i'll just search like ya books like fantasy books and just see what comes up because there's always people getting rid of their books and like you know one person's garbage is another person's treasure so i <laughs> i'm gonna start with like the best thing i found i'm just gonna get right into it i found the entire seven realms series these guys i am so happy about these like okay these were like probably my favorite series growing up um i think i read them maybe middle school slash early high school but i love these books so this has been like a journey for me i have been trying to find this series in hardcover for the longest time but i just think that they're not printing them anymore i honestly think that this series is like way less known than it should be it's so good but by virtue of that i just think it's not that popular so it doesn't get reprinted i know they have it in like paperback form and i'm like i'm okay with paperback form but for me it's like i kind of just wanted these to be on display like i've already read them all like when i was younger i read them i borrowed them from the library so i just wanted like the nice hard copy versions of them to have on my bookshelf so i'm so so happy about this but yeah they're so pretty like okay i'm gonna show you each one <laughs> um oh my gosh these aren't in order that was the first one the demon king and then and there's this one and like they're so pretty like they are like foiled too like it's so pretty ah i'm literally so happy that i found these bless the soul of the person who was selling these it was like some dude and he said it was his sisters and he was selling them for her and they were so cheap too i got all four of them for 30 bucks and i didn't even like try to bargain i guess i could have but i knew that this was a steal because at least where i am like in canada i think like in the us maybe there are like hard copies of these but in canada like if you go on ebay or like amazon these are selling for like hundreds of dollars which is like insane like i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i totally just lucked out and found these i'm so happy <laughs> if you can't tell i'm like really happy about them i know there's the sequel series for this and i'm going to start it like i just have not had the time to but now i feel more motivated because like i found these like i don't know why for me finding the hardcover of this book series was sort of in the back of my mind for the longest time and now that i have it done i feel like i can move on and read the sequel series <laughs> you know it doesn't really make sense but it made sense in my head anyways i guess i can like real quick kind of explain a little bit the premise of this series like I'm not even gonna read the front cover like from my memory basically there's multiple points of view one of the points of view is this dude who he has grown up with these like cuffs around his wrist so his nickname is cuffs and he is one of the main characters of the story and you just like follow that and obviously the cuffs come into play a little later and you figure out why um and then another point of view is the princess in this realm and i think at the beginning of this story she's been away for a while she's been away for like years just like living life out in the wild riding horses having fun like being really free out in the mountains i think where her i believe it might be where her dad is from but then she has to like return to court so that's her perspective there's like wizards and magic Magic involved and a part of the plot is sort of like the princess discovering her history her family's history and cuffs him too like you figure out more about his background that's really vague I know and I'm just saying this off the top of my head but like please read this series I love this series and maybe if you read it then they'll start producing it again in hardback <laughs> anyways okay and then so the other books that I found also on Facebook marketplace are these two so the first one is i got spinning silver and this one's um like a hardcover as well and also like look at that it's in like pristine condition and it was only five dollars <laughs> like it was such a steal i'm so happy about this but yeah this was always just something i wanted to read um it's on my tbr i just never got to it and i mean i don't think i plan to read this immediately but 
I couldn't not get it for only five dollars, you know? So there's that one. Uh, and that one's basically like a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. I know it's pretty beloved in like the fairy tale retelling um, world of books. So there's that one. And then um, I found from the same seller was The Toll. Um, and this is the third book in the Scythe series. I don't actually know if it has like an overarching name for it, but the first book is called Scythe. Um, and the premise of that book is that it's basically like a world where everything has been solved illness has been solved death has been solved there's no hunger that kind of thing and then because of that there now is an occupation called a scythe where these people basically go around killing people because there needs to be a way to population control right so their job is to be what the disease is and what the wars and what the accidents used to do is killing off people right so that is the premise of the series. I saw that the seller was um, selling this um, and I had to get it even though this is the third one because I just started the first book um, and I don't have the second or third one and I was like, this is only $5, that is such a good deal. So like, I won't feel bad about like going to buy the second book for full price because it's like, this was only $5. It's like, I'm saving so much. <laughs> really, really happy about this and it's also in like such great, condition i love it um also like if you have these books you'll know like i love the texture <laughs> of these books they feel really nice like they're kind of like they're like a little bit like textured i don't really know how to explain it the next time you go to your bookstore go like feel the scythe series the hardback series it's like an interesting texture it's similar to um i don't know where i put it but um kaikei that book also has like this like sort of like texture to it. I love it, it's so nice. Anyways, there's that. And then, these ones were not really like steals. I just like succumbed to, <laughs> to buying them at Indigo. Um, so I went to Indigo randomly, I was bored, and then I saw these books and I had to get them because I love how I feel like I need to justify why I got them, but really it's just because I like want to read them. All of these are fantasies and so this one, okay, I was convinced to buy this one after watching, I believe, um, Reagan from Peru's Project. Her video, I think it was like, um, like books to get back into reading again, I think. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. I'll link whatever video it was that I got inspired by, but she, she said to read this book and I've never read a V. E. Schwab book, so I figured I'd like take her advice and start with this one since she was singing such high praises about it. I wanted to try a book by V. E. Schwab and like I know she's really famous for The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, but I'm scared to read that one because it's overhyped. And also I have heard a lot of criticisms about it that I think have tainted my have already tainted my reading experience, you know? Like, I feel like I'm gonna go into it with these criticisms in mind, so I don't really know if I'll ever read it. But I am, like, hopeful about her other books, because I know she has, like, a bunch of, like, she has this, and, like, I think she has, like, the Darker Shade of Magic series. So, um, I just figured I'd start with this one, because Reagan, who I love, she's, like, my favorite booktuber, she was talk saying such good things about this one, so I wanted to try it. The premise of this is really vague, it's just, like, about these two college roommates, Victor and Eli. Basically, they share a bunch of these like crazy experiences together, like near-death experiences, supernatural events, and then they realize that under the right conditions, someone could develop extraordinary abilities. So I am intrigued to see what that really means. It's quite vague, but yeah, I'm excited to read this one. And then I got this one because Indigo finally restocked a hardcover of this. It's like my fatal flaw. Like I love hardcovers of fantasy books, like especially if like I know the cover is really cool because it's just like on a paperback, the cover, it usually doesn't do it justice when it comes to like foiling and stuff like that, right? It's just to me, if I really like the cover, I will want it in the hardback form, you know? But I'm not like opposed to paperbacks. Anyways, I just thought like I really wanted this in the hardcover form because it's so pretty. <laughs> um, and yeah, they. I just saw that like they randomly had like so many of these in there like they definitely just got a shipment in yeah and i decided to get this because this has been on my tbr for the longest time kingdom of the wicked and the premise of this is interesting basically the main character she has a twin they're both like witches i believe and then her twin is found dead so she goes off to basically avenge her sister's death and then there's like this 
Prince of Hell that comes in the picture. I think his name is Wrath. Yeah, Amelia meets Wrath, one of the princes of hell. She's always been warned against him as a child, but he claims to be on her side, and I'm guessing will help her solve the mystery of all these women's murders. So I guess there are more, more multiple murders. That's a little horrific. I just like the sort of you know, the mythological evil character that actually turns out to not be evil. I'm guessing that's what's gonna be Wrath, you know? And then, weirdly, I really like revenge stories, especially because it's like about her sister, you know? I have a sister, so um, yeah. I really like that premise, um, and I've been meaning to pick this one up, so yes. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I was just like flipping through this, and I came across the map page, and the first thing I saw was House Sloth, and I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, <laughs> the first thing I saw is House Sloth. And I'm just like, why is the first thing I think of just like an actual sloth? Like, I know this is probably based on the seven deadly sins, but I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like a house with sloths. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this one I got two, and then, so my last one that I got was, ooh, I just realized this one also has that cool texture. Is this like a new trend? I really like this. Um, it's called the Stardust Thief. I, I was not meaning to buy this. I just walked in and it was on the table, and one, the cover was like very intriguing. You know, if you're a fantasy reader, you're gonna pick up one of these and you you just have to. Like, you, it looks like a fantasy book. It looks like something I'm gonna like, you know? I saw this on the table. I believe it might be a new release because why else would it have been like so advertised as soon as I walked in? But yeah, I like picked it up, read the premise, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm getting three books today. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this one sounds so cool. Let me just like read parts of this premise for you. Basically the main character, she is the Midnight Merchant. She's a criminal and she, with the help of her gin bodyguard, hunts and sells illegal magic. So what got me is like the gin stuff. When I was younger, I read this book series that was like about like gins and whatnot and I loved it, but I haven't like come across that in more like an older, book right so i was like so intrigued there but here i think it goes like she saves the life of a prince she draws the attention of his father the sultan and then he blackmails her into finding a, an ancient lamp that has the power to revive the barren land at the cost of sacrificing all jinn interesting i was just like so intrigued by this because i don't know it just very much unlocked a childhood memory of mine like i truly don't remember the name of this series but there was this like middle grade series i believe that had to do with like jinn so the story is kind of like a quest thing like the main character has to travel to go find this ancient lamp with the sultan's oldest son aided by her bodyguard who has secrets of his own of course um they have to survive all these things school attacks outwit a vengeful jinn queen confront a malicious killer um but yeah this sounds so cool i feel like it will be action-packed which i am so looking forward to i just feel like i don't know you know when you just feel like it's gonna be good i feel like every part of this is gonna be good you know like the writing i mean I don't know this, I'm just predicting, but the writing, I feel like the setting is just gonna be divine. The story, I feel like it's gonna be fresh. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. If any of you have picked this up and read this, please let me know. I think it's somewhat new, so like, when I'm an indigo, I always, um, I always have my Goodreads open so I can check ratings before I buy things. I don't think it had the most ratings, but it had pretty high ratings, so I decided to get it, but Sometimes that's not the most trustworthy just because there's not that many ratings, right? Like the sample size is too small, but yeah, I am excited about this. Let me know if you have read it. Also, let me know if you plan to buy it. That was the last one, I believe. I wonder if I left anything out. There's a good chance. I was not planning on making this video. I was planning on making a different video, but I looked at my stack of new books and I was like, it's haul time it's haul time anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this really really impromptu uh book haul video <laughs> i just wanted to share with you all my like recent finds because it just randomly turned out to be that i had a lot <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video let me know if you've hauled any new books of recent and i'll see you guys in my next video soon bye